everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Edit Creations. Today I'm going to share with you the last part of the swatch book I've created with my daughter's help, of course. Um, Lizzie made the actual file and an Easter card called um, A2 Easter Basket Card. And it's an adorable card by Lori Whitlock. I went a little crazy on the basket part, but you'll see that in just a smidge. So let's get to sharing each part and then we will make that little card. Oh, there's a lot of adhesive on that. I really need to spend some time with my mats. I just have not had time lately. Okay, so this is the current one. Oh my goodness, those lights. I wonder if I just turned them off. Let's see here. Okay, so here was the first set. Here is the second set. Oh, that helps. Oh, goodness, that helps too. Okay, so today we are working with the last bits. And um, if you go into the catalog, I've tried to go in catalog order. That's how I organize my papers so that when I look at something, I know, oh, just after Sangria, I'm light on mulberry or, or whatnot. It helps me with ordering paper. So we are starting with lemonade and going all the way through to black, but it's actually craft. Wildberry, I all, I put in here because I don't like I don't like this color, not with this color. Yeah, so that's a probably like an OCD thing. I I don't know. It's just I prefer my colors, you know, in a group. Okay, so lemonade right here. I chose Y13 lemon yellow and Y02 Canary Yellow. And that's what those look like. I think it did a pretty good job. Shortbread, I went with E31 Brick Beige and E21 Soft Sun. This is a little um, brighter, but I still think it does a pretty good job. Brick Beige, maybe twice would be fine with that too. Just depends. Shortbread's kind of one of those colors I'm not sure I would ever actually use but then I say that and you never know. Could be good for like a gingerbread house or something, uh, the light parts of it. Sundance, I went with Y32 Cashmere and Y35 Maze. I thought that did a pretty good job. Nectarine, I went with YR12 Laquat and YR14 Caramel or Caramel, depending on how you say that. Uh, the paprika, YR18 Sanguine and E19 Redwood. I thought those matched really well. Very impressed with those. Um, mocha, I did E27 Milk Chocolate and E59 Walnut. Toffee, E41 Pearl White. It's a little lighter, but I do, I like that color. And E43 Dull Ivory. So those did, I think, pretty good. Had a lot of trouble with espresso. I don't have exact matches for that. I chose E77, they call it maroon, and E74, cocoa brown. Those were the closest. This is kind of a muted color. Um, it's one of my favorite espressos. I love, I love this color. But uh, the pens, yeah, I mean, they're okay. Those aren't the, the greatest. Uh, mink, um, because I don't have all of the, the grays, I did struggle a smidge with this one, but I chose W2 Warm Gray number two and W3 Warm Gray number three on that one, and I think that that does a really good job for mink. Uh, linen was another one I kind of struggled with, and you can barely see the colors because they're so faint. Um, and they're faint colors anyway. They're not going to show up real bright. So W0 warm gray number one and W1 warm gray number one. Pewter, I decided to go with the T2 toner gray number two and T4 toner gray number four. This one could actually go for a little darker of one, but the next one up was really dark. So I decided to stick with the lighter because I'd prefer to go lighter and um, then go darker. Charcoal N3 neutral gray number three and C7 cool gray number seven. Um, I'm still debating this one, still debating, but that's what I'm going with right now. White Daisy, I don't know if I'm going to, I was thinking about maybe putting some black circles down here and using like my Lawn Fawn ink or maybe the, um, 
the pigment pad from close to my heart this this one in the catalog um i don't know i'm still thinking about that one but i did put paper on there <laughs> french vanilla i went with yr30 macadamia nut and black because i have black um 100 black and 110 black um, the special black, I decided to do that. I was surprised when I did the intense black here because I'm not planning on, on buying the just the standard black, but it didn't stamp off. I thought that was kind of weird. So I might have to practice with that one. And craft, my daughter didn't create a craft one. I mean, my goodness, why did she not create a craft? So I just printed that one um, and then I did E57 Light Walnut. I don't really have a craft color that matches that real well. But E57 Light Walnut, if I need to do a brown around some craft paper, that's what I'll probably choose. So my book is now finished as far as it's going to get. And it is thick. <laughs> Look how thick that sucker is. But I have all of them done that I have with um, ink pads, except for, I think, mint, because I, I let Nancy use that one. Um, I should say, well, she just took it home to do some stuff. But I need to get the rest of those ink pads, and then this book will be completely finished. But I'm very, very happy with it. Glad that I've gotten that to that stage, because that was something that had been kind of bothering me for a bit. I needed, you know, to, to have those um, to help me out when I'm coloring. So the card I did today, oops, took some of the pieces with me, is this one. Isn't that adorable? Look at that basket weave. And yeah, it doesn't come that way. <laughs> That's where I went crazy. I decided to use some little dots here for the um, flower centers. Eh, would I do the, I don't know if I would do these colors of eggs again. This purple's kind of muted. I chose the brighter side of that. The pink's pretty good, but it matches that and that. So I've got pink, pink, pink. Um, and the green egg right there matches that. So I think I would have done pattern papers had I really thought about it. And I might do some pen work on that, but I haven't gotten there yet. So that's where that's at right now. This is a lot of work. And that's why my fingers have brown on it. I used a uh, my lava soap, but it doesn't get it all out. Okay, so let's start with this project and get this one going. I did assemble the feet already because I had printed it out in this pink and it was way too dark. So if you do this one, you're going to want to do the lighter pink. I did um, uh, ballerina, the light side on ballerina. So I inked these three pieces up with espresso and I inked all these little strips up with espresso as well. That's where um, I've got that going on the, the ink. But let's start with, let's see, I'm going to put these pieces so that they're not still loose. I'm going to put those on the card. Whoops. Apparently my watch is trying to do something for YouTube. I don't understand that, but that's okay. Come on. I know every time I cut my fingernails, I think, why did I do that? But I just can't have long fingernails. It just gets in the way. I also can't have the pretty fingernails. Like everybody has those little pretty fingernails. I'm not a pretty fingernail person. I will say I do like to get my toes done every once in a while, but that hasn't happened since the COVID stuff. But fingernails, mm -mm. I had them done once. It felt really heavy and I just didn't care for it. I am a very natural person with my fingernails. Um, yeah. And I like them trimmed very tidy. Okay. So that's just the base right there. Nothing big. Um, maybe I'll do something else to it later. I don't know. Maybe I'll... There was a sticker I was kind of eyeing. But now I don't see where the sticker sheet is. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was thinking about this Happy Easter one. That's what it was, putting that there. And maybe, I don't know. I'm not overly loving it. Um, the hippity hop's kind of cute, but I don't have any orange on it. So we'll see. That might be what I put on those because I, I don't have anything for it. I do have some little um, banners, but um, I didn't find a small enough Happy Easter stamp. And my... Um, Nancy used one of these the other day. These are ripping apart so quickly. So I've got it here in case I absolutely need to use it, but hopefully I won't. 
So, oh, my ink tube, there we go, or my glue tube. Yeah, I can talk. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by putting a little drop of adhesive, and we're just gonna put that on there, okay? And then we're gonna put a drop of adhesive on the top, and we're gonna put that there, just next to it. And then we're gonna keep repeating that, and I'll probably have to go back and cut some of these, um, but I wanted to get the gist of it while I was working here. Okay, and then we're gonna do this. I do need to save one of those aside, so, because I'll t I tend to just be like, oh, I'm just gonna use it and I'll deal with it later. I'm gonna set that aside now before I say that to myself. And, and I don't need these as long as they are. They are easier to work with longer. I did really short ones with this. Here, I'll leave that card up there. With that one and um, towards the end part of it, it was like, eh, I should have cut these, you know, I should have cut them a lot longer. But you just keep, let's see, make sure that's the inked side. Keep going all the way across. Pretty quick here, I'm gonna have to cut some of these. Yeah, I've only got two left. And these are a quarter of an inch. They are on the craft paper. Um, it feels so good to have craft paper back in my scrap room. That, I will say, was bothersome. I use craft so much that every time I was leaning towards doing a project, I was like, oh, I can't. And uh, that uh, didn't like that. I like to be able to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. It's probably a very selfish thing to say, isn't it? But having craft paper was, oh, that was very stressful. Or having not having it, I guess I should say. Okay, that's going to have to be trimmed a smidge. Let's see here. Let's go in here and trim some of these. There we go. Let me trim that one and that one. Okay. Oh, shoot. You know what? I do have to cut some more and ink some more up. I was not thinking because I've got to do the other way, too. Here I planned that all out like, oh, I got this. I should have cut them earlier and not put all of those on there because I need, where's my post-it note? Huh, where did I set my post-it note? Oh, well, you'll get to see me ink some with that horrible dauber. And I think it was, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, about six of them. So probably I'll cut seven, seven little strips. And I think, let me look at the, there it is. Make sure that that goes clear across. It does, so we're good there. And toss those. We've got the one for the top. I'm gonna leave that aside. And I'm gonna get my craft paper here. Set it over there. And I'm just gonna cut one, two, three, four, five. Did I say six or seven? Let's go with seven. Uh, or, you know, I'll cut more later. Okay. Sorry, this is gonna take a smidge longer. But now you'll see how I get ink all over myself. Should probably wear gloves or something while I do this. And it's littering everywhere. Oh. Oh, that was kind of not smart to put the little goober in there. Note to self, make sure you dump that before you close it up. <laughs> okay, so we've got one. And I'll try to have my husband speed this part up.
Okay, so these are all inked now. Hopefully by magic, my husband has fast forwarded through all of that. Um, since I don't know how to do that, I'm just gonna hope that he does. Okay, so we're gonna fold back. And let's see, I'm just all inkied, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for showing you my inky nails and fingers. Okay, so we're gonna do the opposite one. So any that I glued to the top of this strip, I am leaving forward, and any I didn't glue to the top of the strip, I am folding backwards. And then I'm just gonna take and put a little dollops of glue. And last time when I made it, I didn't put the dollops of glue across each one, and when I got down to the bottom, it was kind of problem so problematic. So I'm going to do that now. I'm not gonna glue them down. I'm just gonna fold them down. Also, I found if I kind of played with it, um, and because this is a thinner cardstock, specialty cardstock, it works out really well. Okay, so now we're gonna fold back the opposite ones. I know, it's like, oh my gosh, this is a lot. But it's so worth it. It's so worth it. That basket is so freaking cute. And this is why I no longer do card classes because I would probably be doing this for every card because that's how I would roll. And uh, I am trying to come up with a way of doing card classes again that wouldn't be as time consuming. Uh, but knowing me, it still would be time consuming because I try to go above and beyond on all my cards, you know, make them like, oh my gosh, those are amazing. And, you know, try to do as little work as possible for my peeps. And then I end up doing so much work. So, yeah, I know. And I just had a client was asking me when I was going to be doing card classes again. And I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so hard to say no. So we'll see where we go with that. Okay. So now we're going to do the opposite. And you just continue this until you're at the bottom or you've used up all of your little strips. So hopefully at this point, I'm going to stop talking again so my husband can just fast forward and you don't have to sit there for every single layer of this. Okay, this is going to be the last row I have to put on here. And this one I'm going to do a little bit different. When I pull the other strips through, I'm going to add glue to them. Okay. So you thinking I'm crazy yet? I kind of think I'm crazy sometimes. I get a bee in my bonnet and I have to do it. And the basket was one of them. Thank goodness I'm not doing 20 of these. Whew, goodness. I think I would cry. Okay. So I've got those kind of ready. Let's turn this around. And I'm going to put a little drop of glue under each of those to kind of secure that down since it's kind of the bottom. And then I'm going to double check that by putting that there, yeah, it more than, I only need a smidge like right in here. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do, this is, as you can see, fun, right? Isn't that cute? Oh gosh, I love it. I'm going to put glue all over this little guy. Glue that sucker up. Okay, then I'm gonna take the basket piece that I made, and I'm just gonna, oh, I kinda wanna set it over a little bit. I'm gonna get glue everywhere on my mat because that's how Diane's roll. 
And then I'm going to take across this top piece and I'm going to take this one. And that kind of finishes it off. Make sure that goes up. Okay. Okay. Glue and ink everywhere. Okay. okay. So the next step is to trim. And we will have to go back and add some glue here and there, but hopefully we have added enough glue to enough places that we don't have to do a lot of it. that away. Okay, where is my pokey tool? There it is. Okay, so right here is one of those places I need to add a smidge. That one's kind of good, but let's add it just for good measure, right? Um, not touch that one. Hopefully it, it just stays there. And right there. Okay, add some extra pressure. <clears throat> And we have our basket done. Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this piece was cut in bright pink, which I still have not really figured out why. Um, you don't see a lot of it, so it, or any of it, really. So I haven't figured out why that that is the color it is, but we'll just, you know, be like, okay. Um, I think I might, if I ever cut another one of these cut it actually in the craft because the basket on the original card was in yellow and I mean it's it's cute like I said the original card is really cute um if you follow the link below you can see that original card um where did those little easter eggs go huh where did they go? Well, maybe we'll get my wish and let's do some pattern paper. It'll take us a smidge longer, but you know, why not? Okay, let's see here. Let's set you aside. And I wanna do that one. So let me grab my cute little pencil. Got a little koala bear on it. I think I got that at the book fair at my kids, my grandkids' school. Okay, there's that one. I have a feeling I'm going to like this card a lot more than the other one, aside from the fact that I'm cutting Easter eggs. Sorry, cutting off camera Easter eggs. Okay, there's one it's on the back of that one. That's another yellow pattern. Oh, the paper I'm using for the back of the card is Celebrate Easter by Lori Whitlock. It's an Echo Park paper. That's that one side, and that's the words. I don't even remember why I got that paper, but it is adorable. Uh, let's see here. What other colors do we have? Oh, that zigzag one would be fun. Let's see if I can find my little scrap of it. Okay, use this. And some people, whoops, would cut it on the side that you're not seeing, but I'm not some people apparently. Okay. That one, and then we just have one more to figure out Let's see, I'm going to move this paper over here real quick so I can look at it while we are doing this. Maybe this plaid. Because, oh, we don't have a pink one. So maybe I'll try to find where I put the scrap of that one. Oh, it's on the back of the green plaid I have sitting over here. So I think I'll do that one because I do like that little flower. And that'll be the pink one. Okay, so there's that one. And... Here is this one, okay. Okay, 
And as you can see, I'm not putting a ton of thought. Eh, I guess I'm going to put a little more thought than I thought I was going to into the placement of the eggs. Yeah, that one's got a little more flowers on it. Okay, set all this stuff aside. So we've got ink on that, the little ink goobers. I think I'm going to have to look into some new um, daubers. I don't use them that often, but when I do use them, I need them to work for at least a full card. And I mean, I guess it worked for one card, but it really didn't go much further. And that's never good. You, you know, when you buy something, it should, you know, last a bit. And the brush things are a little too big for um, the work I was just doing. Okay, so these eggs go, you know, one, two, three. Oh, much happier with that. Love that. Okay. And then this circle goes dark side in. Let's see if I can. That is the one bad thing about gluing that. I'm going to trim it a little bit so I can stick that down in there. There we go. And then light side. And I did go with espresso on that. This pink is um, flamingo. And the green I used, I believe, is avocado. Yeah, it's avocado. Okay, so that one goes there. This one goes over here. And these don't matter if they overlap funky. It's okay because you're going to put the flowers on. I did not crimp these flowers. I opted to just leave them as is mainly because of the fact that there was so much green under them. Oops, I can get some of that adhesive off. Okay, the bunny tail is this little white circle. It goes up there. I have just tons of ink floating around here. And then we have these little, little his little feet. And then we just have the bow. I love those eggs so much better. I went with the dark side on that one, and I think that's okay. And if I remember correctly, I needed to trim. Yeah, I need to trim. Because I think I was supposed to use the lighter side, but I didn't care for the way it looked. So we'll just trim that right off. Toss that away. Nobody's the wiser. And then I went with, I kept this all dark on that one. Okay. I'll let that set for a second. Toss some stuff away. Okay, now the little colors. I went with this one for the, the smaller. And I went with this one for the larger. There we go. Got that done. Now we just need to flip it over and get all the little stuff off of it and add some pop tape. And I did not add on the other one also any pop tape along here or along the bottoms of these little things. I just added it up on that bow with the tiny ones I have. And then I've got the big ones over here. And I probably pop tape more than is necessary, but I don't like it when it goes you know, flat in the center. And I can never find my foam. Plus, foam is stinky. I know that sounds probably really lame. But um, I don't love foam because of the smell that it gives off. And these pop tapes are really cool. I love them. I love that there's two sizes that are the same height. Um, I need to get some of the shorter ones from close to my heart and try those out, the circle ones. But I get these at such a reasonable price by buying wholesale that it's kind of hard to, to be like, oh, let me pay almost full price. <laughs> Just I have problems with that. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this a lot more than, than this one with those egg colors. I might change these egg colors. So cute. Oh, my gosh. This is such a cute card. 
I love it. And this basket weave, I mean, you saw how long it kind of took me because hopefully he's fa he fast forwarded through that. But the product at the end, if you're only giving it to a few people, it's worth it. If you're giving it to like 20 people, don't go there. It was a lot of work, but I just think the ending is so worth it. So I love a good basket and a basket weave is just as easy. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those and I try to get back as soon as possible on those. And have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.